Did you know that Queen Elizabeth I was obsessed with her hands? From a very young age, Elizabeth was very proud of her long, slender fingers and hands, and as a result of that, they were always prominently displayed in her portraits. In this early portrait of her, in which she's about 13 years old, we already see this trend. She's already proud of her fingers because they are so wonderfully depicted. And throughout much of her portraiture, we see her hands um, accentuated and on prominent display, such as in this portrait here, in which she's holding a rose. And Elizabeth actually used her hands as a mark of respect. So when courtiers came to pay homage to her, she would unglove her hands and present her bare hand to that courtier for them to kiss. And this is depicted here where we see two ambassadors kissing Elizabeth's hand. This was seen as a mark of favour because they were able to kiss the royal hand. By the way, if you're interested in Elizabeth, I have done a series on her whole life and reign. It can be purchased by a link here in this video or by going to my profile. Back to the subject in hand. So in Elizabeth's paintings, she is often holding her gloves. Gloves during the Elizabethan period were often very richly made and decorated, and we actually have a surviving pair of her own gloves. So this glove here on the left is a coronation glove worn by Elizabeth I at her coronation. And this is a photograph with it next to the late Queen Elizabeth II's coronation glove. And you can see the exquisite workmanship that's gone into each of these amazing gloves. And these gloves here are also said to have belonged to Elizabeth I. They were presented to her when she visited Oxford University in 1566. And I think this gives a good indication of her slender hands. I think maybe she really did have beautiful long fingers, as has been portrayed in many of her portraits. I want to return to this wonderful portrait here because look at how slender her fingers are in this. She really was very proud. And again, in this portrait here called the sieve portrait, she holds a sieve and again, each finger is beautifully depicted, emphasising their slenderness.